ways you want to be able to reach out to them on a level of understanding, you know, kind of meet them where they are. Because if we were like, oh, you're so angry about everything. I don't know what's wrong with you, right? So that's judgment. So what we want to say is, I understand why you're mad. These are the things I think you're mad about. And, and then if somebody can clarify, you're right. Those are the things I'm angry about or mad about or upset about. Um, and then you can say, what do you need from me? How can I help you? You know, if they're like, oh, I just need to be angry for a couple of days, say, fine, I'm going to check back in with you in a couple of days. And, and then, you know, if there's anything that I can do to help you, or that's going to give me a couple of days and I'm going to try to figure out, you know, how to help you get your perspective on it. And it's just, it's just it, the main thing is not to judge anybody when they're angry, because then it's like, oh, nobody understands me. I'm just crazy. So you build um, a little bit of a barrier between you and the person that you're trying to help. So even if you don't fully understand and even if you don't fully support the reasons that they're giving you, just say, I hear that you're angry for this. It's always kind of a reflection back. This, I hear that you know, you're saying you're angry because of this. So you don't have to buy in, but you're hearing them. But with kids, before they recognize what it is, is sometimes we'll take just the outline of a body, like a picture, and then give them a red marker and say, you know, can you tense up your hands? Okay, you know, tell us what it feels like or tell us where you most feel it, you know, or even if you're, whenever you're angry, where do you feel it? So we're trying to equip kids from an early age to recognize the, 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 uh, it's the tip or the warning signal that your body is sending to your brain that you're about to get to a point where you might not be able to pull yourself back in. So um, we call it taming your, taming your emotions. So it's recognizing all those triggers and recognizing what your response is.